Jesus, gracias Señor, porque tú el día de hoy nos permitiste abrir nuestros ojos. Nosotros caminamos por fe y no por vista, Señor. Jesus 
Spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. To lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, 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 oh. Wide open spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you. It's me, Megan, and my name is Jessie. Megan, what time is it? Uh, oh, there's a clock. Looks like it's about 10.35. Oh, man. What? Where is he? Where is who? The mail carrier. He always comes at 10.30, and he is late today. <laughs> hmm, I 
I've never known you to care about when the mail arrives, Jesse. I'm usually not, but today is different. My grandma sent me a surprise in the mail. She said it should arrive today. I can't wait. Oh, fun. That is very exciting. What time is it now, Megan? Uh, it's 10.36, Jesse. Only one minute since you last asked. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I have an idea. Why don't we listen to today's Bible story while you wait? The believers in Thessalonica were waiting too. Listen to this story. Paul had traveled to the city of Thessalonica. The people there worshipped idols, things that were not God. Some of them even worshipped the leader of Rome. Paul told the people about Jesus, and many of them believed. Paul started the church in Thessalonica, but not everyone liked Paul or his teaching about Jesus. They made him leave the city. Paul worried about the believers in Thessalonica. They had not been believers for very long. So Paul sent his friend Timothy to visit them. Timothy brought back happy news. Even though following Jesus was not easy, the believers did not give up. Paul wrote a letter to encourage the believers. He told them that Jesus will come back someday. On that day, believers will not suffer anymore. This message gave the believers hope. Paul wrote to the church in Thessalonica, We want you to know what is true. We believe that Jesus died and rose again. Paul said that believers who die before Jesus comes back will not miss out. When Christians die, Jesus takes them to be with him. When Jesus comes back, he will bring with him the Christians who died and we will live with him forever. Paul wrote, No one knows when Jesus will come again, so we should always be ready. The prophets in the Old Testament told about the day when God would judge the world and save his people. Paul said that in the future, Jesus will come back for his people and judge the wicked. Believers can live with hope because Jesus will come again. church will open soon the church will open um, early June so it will be within uh, two weeks so I encourage you to come to the church and we are really ready to uh, have an on-site service so we will going to have a BBS which is vacation Bible study I hope you all register and join the uh, Bible feast because we're going to have a lot of fun things and activities. We will get together and worship God. So I hope you guys are all excited and join the BBS as well. 
So as you know, God chose Paul as a God's messenger. And he was a persecutor, but he was spreading the gospel after he met Jesus. And he built a lot of churches. Paul wrote the letter to church in Thessalonica. So that time, people uh, were misunderstood and people got stoned when they believed in Jesus. Christians were persecuted. Um, from the Jews and many other people in other nations. So they had to be ready uh, to be killed. Sometimes they hid themselves in the cave and sometimes uh, people stoned them uh, because they believe in Jesus Christ. Because Satan is angry, Satan is mad because good news was spreading out and people got saved and the darkness uh, became a light because of the Jesus. A lot of apostles spreading the gospel throughout the many, many places. And Paul actually traveled many nations and he built many churches. Paul encouraged the Christian in Thessalonica and he wanted them to be faithful. He want people to hold on the truth and Paul, Jesus, and waiting for his return because Jesus promised them he's gonna come back. First Thessalonians 5. Now concerning how and when all this will happen, dear brothers and sisters, we don't really need to write you, for you know quite well that the day of the Lord's return will come unexpectedly, like a thief in the night. When people are saying everything is peaceful and secure, the disaster will fall on them as suddenly as a pregnant woman's labor pains begin, and there will be no escape. But you aren't in the dark about these things, dear brothers and sisters, and you won't be surprised when the day of the Lord comes like a thief. You are all children of the light and of the day. We don't belong to darkness and night. So be on your guard, not asleep like the others. Stay alert and be clear-headed. Night is the time when people sleep and drinkers get drunk. But let us who live in the light be clear-headed, protected by the armor of the faith and love and wearing as our helmet the confidence of our salvation. First Thessalonians 5 16. Always be joyful, never stop praying, be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Do not strive with the Holy Spirit, do not scoff at prophecies, but test everything that is said, hold on to what is good, stay away from every kind of evil. Paul encouraged the Thessalonians in the Thessalonian church. Um, always be joyful, never stop praying, be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. It says always be joyful, never stop praying, be thankful in all circumstances. So guys, no matter what a situation we are facing, we can be always be joyful and always be thankful because uh, God gave us the spirit of joy. God gave us the uh, strength to endure the uh, suffering because we are not the normal people. We are uh, God's people and chosen one and we are the priest. First Peter chapter 9 it says, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession that you may declare the praise of Him who call you out of darkness into His wonderful night. Guys, God chose us as a royal priest and a holy nation. And God gave us the authority to win over the darkness. I have given you authority to tremble on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. God gave us the authority and God gave us the power. So even if there is a persecution, uh, but we have a power to spread the gospel and it is God's will 
for us to spread the good news and it is God's will to preach about Jesus so that the other people can be saved just as God saved us and we are the messenger and we should spread the gospel and share the good news with other people guys and God gave us the authority don't forget that Jesus encouraged the people through Paul Apostle Paul and other apostle and he also promised that he will come back and he will return and the, all the people who died and will be resurrected as well and our body will be changed like a Jesus Christ so it's, it is good news during the pandemic we were afraid uh, of going to church we were hiding in the cave and we were hiding in our house but it's now time for you to come out from the house and coming to the church and the worship God because we are no longer should operate because God gave us the power and authority guys so you guys um, on certain time God put you in a house right to prepare for you for the future uh, but now it's time for you to come to the church and worship God because God doesn't want you to be afraid and be hidden in the cave but God wants you to come out from the cave and now it's time for us to gather together and worship God because as a Christian we need to be bold and we need to be courageous and we need to love a church people and church friends and also we need to spread the gospel uh, to other friends as well because God called us to be united as a family uh, at the church and we need to join the fellowship and we need to worship God at the church that's God's will guys pandemic is like an invisible enemy and we were hidden for so long it's time for you to come out and worship God with other people guys okay so that's not a normal we, uh, just stay at home and worship God through the online that's just the um, you know certain time God allow you to do it but that's not normal that's not uh, if you keep staying at home and staying hidden and just being lazy and watching TV and watching the service uh, through the online that certain times God allow you to do it but that's not God's will guys because God want you to get together and worship Him so guys um, uh, it's time for you to come out from the cave and get together and worship God don't forget that at uh, that time the people were hiding and people were persecuted uh, but God gave them a boldness to preach the gospel and even if there were persecution people never stopped preaching the gospel and join the suffering that God allowed so guys um, we were in pandemic and this is another persecution right this is actually the persecution as well some preachers and uh, pastors uh, went to the jail because they opened the church and it was really really hard time and guys we need to be strong because we are living in a, a revelation right now in the revelation God said there will be a lot of trial and we need to be stand firm and stand strong with other people and we need to hold on to Jesus we were afraid and we were hidden but God promised um, the new world in Revelation 21 for he will wipe every tear from their eyes there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order was things has passed away so guys we were um, like many people cried because of the coronavirus and many people were terrified and attacked and uh, some of the family member they lose some of the family member they, we lose some of the friends 
but uh, God promised the new world, and it says there is no pain and no mourning. So when Jesus comes back, He's gonna build the new world, and He's gonna give us the uh, new nations, and He will reign, and He will also wipe out our tears and suffering, and He will give us the new um, joy. Guys, also, it says, Isaiah, Isaiah 11, 6, The wolf will live with the lamb, the leopard will lie down with the goat, the cap and the lion and the yearning together, and a little child will lead them, the cow will bed with the bear, their young will lie down together, and the lion will eat straw like the ox. The infant will play near the cobra stand, and the young child will put its hand into the viper's net. They will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full with the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. So guys, we never see this kind of word. This word seems like there's no justice and no uh, peace, but it is the nation and it is the word God will create that the, um, the baby can play with the snakes and also lion will eat the grass and there will be no terror, no killing and no mourning. So guys, when Jesus returns, we will actually live with Jesus and there will be no disease, no mourning and no death. So that is the God's promise when Jesus will return and he will give us the so much joy and a peaceful nation. But how can we live until then? We still see the war, we still see the death, we still see the disease, and we still see there are a lot of violence going on in this nation and the whole world. But we need to be stand strong in faith we need to hold on to Jesus. We need to do good. Be joyful always and praying in any circumstance. I hope you guys are all happy and see you soon.